story of Job. In a country called Uz lived a very rich man. His status was higher than others in the land. Livestock was numerous. Three daughters, the prettiest. He had seven sons. Servants were plenteous. Job was godly. To sin he was scared, and in the mornings he made prayers for his children on an altar. Perhaps in their hearts his sons did falter because they had parties with their sisters. Job interceded. Yes, he persisted, pleading with God during feasts. And upon Job's family, God's blessings were released. Job had honor. Job had health. Job had a wife. Job had wealth. One day, angels came to God. Among them was Satan, like peas in a pod. God asked Satan about his servant who shunned all evil, whose reverence was fervent. Satan said, Job, serve you because he is blessed. Take away his blessings, and in his distress, he will curse you right to your face. He's not special in the human race. God allowed Satan to give Job a test. Except his life, Satan could touch the rest. So Satan sent Job a whole lot of trouble. Messengers ran to Job with bad news on the double. One servant said, while feeding your animals, Shabion stole them and killed all like cannibals but I was the only one who escaped. Meanwhile, another servant ran in as Job gaped. He said, bad weather came with a sweep and killed all the servants as well as the sheep, but I was the only one who escaped. Another servant ran in as Job gaped. He said, Chaldeon took all the camels and killed all the servants who were with all the animals. But I was the only one who escaped. Meanwhile, another servant ran in as Job gaped. He said, I'm sorry to tell you of a storm that destroyed the house of your firstborn. Not to mention the worst thing is in that house feasting were all of your children, but I was the only one <laughs> who escaped. Job tore his clothes and worshiped on his face with a shaved head and sackcloth and ashes, Job said to God, something that was classic. Naked I came here, and naked I will depart. And all the Lord gave, the Lord took in part. Blessed be the name of the Lord, didn't accuse God for life being hard. Satan planned to cause more trouble. He suggested that the stakes be doubled. He told God that Job's wealth was not as important as Job's health. So God allowed a second test. Job won the battle 
in spite of Satan's best. Afflicted in pain, Job's body was struck with boils and sores. His wife saw it as bad luck, so she asked, Why hold fast your integrity? Curse God and die and leave this misery. Job replied with aggression, You sound foolish. This is our lesson. Can we receive good and not evil at the hand of God as he deals with people? In all this grief, his wife did pout, but Job did not sin against God with his mouth. His friends also came to see Job. He scraped itching skin without wearing a robe. For several days, they sat in silence. They believed he deserved God's violence. When Job complained, they said, you must have sinned to bring about this dread. Job denied it. I've done nothing wrong. His friends disagreed. His suffering was too long. Finally, God came to his defense. He spoke in a whirlwind and said, Get up hence and tell me the answers that only I know. Tell me of ice and tell me of snow. Tell me of things I have created. I'm in control. Job's whining faded. God told Job to pray for his friends because they were wrong about Job's sins. They did not say, the right thing about God. So God got mad and rebuked them hard. So when Job prayed, he did recover. God gave him double and his trial was over. <laughs>